Hey guys, Angler2222 here. Welcome back to Bait and Kados. In the last part, well, we did stuff in the Mystic Garden, and in this part, hopefully we'll finish it up. I'm starting from here, because there's something I want to try. Ah, so you... Huh? Well, that's weak. Now I'm at a loss for what to do, because... <sighs> I should probably try looking for the people in this place, because... Ugh. Yeah, as weird as it sounds, you have to jump from there to get over here. I believe this person gives us items. Or I guess I'll just listen to everything, because for all we know, it could do something. The Mirage Weed. We're good. Let's see where this puts us. Right by the treasure chest. There, now we have the golden pickaxe. Actually, what well, now that we have the golden pickaxe, there's only one thing here we really need to get, and then we're good. <sighs> but first, I think I need to go back and fix the scale that the red side is. Oh, blood dropped frames. <laughs> But, whatever. Oh, well, we already have enough pristine water, so... Let's cross and not get hit by the double hands! Wow! That was pretty lucky! Now, let's lower the red one further. Now, let's jump across and go back. <sighs> now to go all the way around and out. Let's see what's over here now. Of course it just puts me on the roof again. I want to go to the ground floor. There's the key! Now that we have that, all I really want to do now is... Let me be sure I can even make it over to... Hmm... Yeah, I can get over there just fine, so... <sighs> Let's go all the way over to this room. Go away, blob! No hold barred. This is for real. Or I'll just... Bite you, I don't really care. Of course, I have no way to defend myself. Yeah, that's pretty pathetic. I 
Why do you... I should probably throw Sabina's new finisher in her deck. I don't think I did that. That is pretty okay damage, though. This should get me to kill, hopefully. And it does! End. Oh joy. This finisher, Liu's newest one, it's actually pretty boring looking. That's all he does. And we get Liu's level 1 finisher as a reward. Funny. Let's see how much time I'm at. Eh. Yeah, I haven't really... Oh, of course that's in the way, so I have to go change where to, everything is on the scale. <sighs> it's funny how I'm doing this dungeon in a minimalist fashion. There's several items you can get here to help you out. I didn't get any of them. Well, save for the two you need to get in order to, well get through this place. Those being the pickaxe and the key. We don't need another. We only need two. Time to fill the blue scale up. And there we go, the scale's balanced. I'll just wait for this guy to go by. <sighs> it's funny. I ended up getting into a fight with one of them by accident. I thought I was safe from where I was... Oh, and of course, me being me, I have the brilliant idea to run into him. Well, whatever. I guess I'll show this off just because. Of course, double team the guy who has absolutely no defense cards. Scratch that, make it triple team. Yeah, Liud has 100 health now. I wonder why. Looks like I did put that card in your deck. Yeah, that's pretty good damage. When in doubt, throw everything at it. Ah, of course it survived. But I still have Leeds turn. Oh, yay! Five sevens! Uh, it's funny. Vinegar is actually one of Liu's best weapons. Seriously? You suicide bombed Liu? Oh, you jerk. And I actually started getting a crap ton of healing items, too. Great. And that burned Callus, too. Not that I can't fix him up easy, but come on. Here you go. Here you go. 
Just heal yourself already. And then it dropped like... No, it didn't actually drop any flames, but... And then they just suicide? Like... Really? That was so dumb. Why do I have to waste my camp items on Liud and Savina? Because of course those stupid wheat crackers heal the absolute bare minimum of, of health they can. That's good enough, although... I don't know why I really care that much when I'm not even going to be, well... ...using Liud and Savina to fight the boss anyway. Simply because, well... ...like I've already said about them, they're utility characters. There's times when they're really good, but aside from that, it's better to not use them. So, now that we've flipped everything around so that I can actually get to this point... Well... I'm gonna cut ahead to, well, where we go to fight the boss. And with that, let's go fight this boss. I'll change my order around first so that we're all set. Because Shell and Gibari are just better than everybody else. So let's just go through here. Ah, uh, stupid blobs. Just get out the way! So... We just break it with the pickaxe. And unlock the door with the key. This dungeon is a lot shorter than how it's been for me previous tries. But, it's probably because I got the bare minimum for items you need to beat this place. You can get items to put out the water, something that makes you run f put out the water, fire, something that makes you run faster. This time around I got just the big axe and the key. Yep. Possibly. Quiet. Stay alert. There's something here. And what could that thing be? Hmm. Are you sure? Hmm? What's going on? Crazy crap. That's what. So crazy witchcraft is going on. Which, of course, That's makes a giant... You don't say, Gibari. <laughs> but at the same time, that's why you're so awesome. So yes, it creates a giant card. This boss is also really hard. Mostly because, just like the Gnosis we fought earlier, this thing resists any and all elemental attacks thrown at it. And this will probably hurt it. Yeah, pretty good given that it ate all the elements. But this thing isn't nice, especially since... Unlike the Gnosis, I think this thing actually does have 100% resist to something. I believe it's dark, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh, 
And you did tons of damage to Shella, you jerk. I think I might have just... Yeah, I wasted that on Gibari. Go me. But I can still heal Shella up. Use this. It's all yours. <sighs> Yay for using mineral water and stuff. Orud. God, do I love those cards! Sure, why not do this? Eh, it's weak, but considering I only used three cards, it's pretty good. Sure, let's throw Smash Tackle in there too. If only I had done it in the reverse order, but uh, as long as I'm making 200 a hit, I think I'm doing okay. Fire first. Dark Fire Yay first. for conflicting elements, but at least Shella gets to move. Yes, I just tried to block him with strawberries. I am so good. Ouch. That damage is kind of high. But... At least confusion isn't the worst status effect. I mean, it's annoying, but... There's way worse things to get stuck with. Besides, I just got an epic combo off anyway. Yeah. Confusion is really only scary if your cards have more than one spirit number on them. But, given that finishers are about the only thing that are like that at this point, it's nothing to worry about. I could have been done that a bit better. Oh, if this paralyzes, which I think it just did. I really hate paralyze. Mostly because it takes your characters out for pretty much forever and you can't do anything about it. That may or may not have been a smart idea. I don't know. And then he attacks... Oh, that was it? I guess it could have been much worse. But still, that was far from cool. And now I'm getting all my healing cards. Two fifty nine. That's good. <sighs> I guess I'll heal Callus. Use this. It's all yours. Now it's Shella's turn. This is gonna freak you own. And... Wow! It took another part of him off! 
Sure. Let's guard with the cheese. Okay, does that move have a 100% paralyzed chance or something? Because every time he uses that move, it paralyzes. No exception. And how much will this do? Yeah, that's what I get when I don't get any attack cards at all. And then he just does that random taunt hit. Like, why? What's the purpose of it? Here you go. I really did need that heal, though. <sighs> yeah, now I'm just drawing no attack cards. <sighs> Should have been ready with the Chronosora earlier. Oh well. At least it used the Confuse move and not the other one. This isn't gonna work too well, but whatever. Actually, that's pretty okay for what I did do. Oh, that's the Aqua Aura. And I got rid of my Aqua Defense. Genius. Use this. this fight is just starting to get really annoying now. Watch as it goes for the Paralyze. Or not. Lighter well, way, things could be way worse right now. Oh yeah! Spirit attack! This is gonna hurt. Four ninety seven. That's really good. And as you can see, our card friend is way smaller now. And that did pretty good damage. And there comes the straight. Hmm. I guess you... I'm not sure if you can only have one status effect in this game or not, but... That didn't seem to work this time. The Paralyze, that is. Luckily. Give me a break. Is that the best you can do? And I'm still getting my hits in. Light. Light. 
Let's hope this finishes it. Although I think there's still more to do. Yeah. At least it's just the face now. Why does it do taunt shots when, you know, we aren't even paralyzed? Where's Shella? Here, gotcha. And I accidentally got rid of Shadow Wings. Oh well. Yeah, Gibari needed the deck shuffle. <laughs> Let's hope this hits for good damage. Eh, I've done worse this fight. Not more Kronos Cage. So I guess you can't have more than one status effect, but rather, if you get it with a new one, it overwrites the old one. Hmm, that's pretty good. What is with these stupid taunt shots? This is starting to get really annoying. We'll just hope this finishes this thing off already. Two ninety seven. That's pretty good. Callus could really use some health. And hey, there is the kill shot. This boss wasn't as hard as I remembered it being, but it was much more annoying. Well, it's dead now at least. Hmm. Two pictures that are exactly the same. This isn't one of them. Just an empty shell. Nope. A mere shadow of the real N Magnus. A shadow? Yes. I'll bet the N Magnus was sealed away here at one time. When it was moved, part of its great power was burned into the spot and remained as an imprint. With the other Seems legit. being unsealed, the shadow's power must have increased. Giving it a tangible form of its own. Black. It's true, then. That's all I have to say to that. Then the end Magnus that was sealed here must have been unsealed ages ago. You don't say. Yeah. Why don't we go ask Duke Calvert? He's the ruler of Mira, right? He might know something. We should also be wary of the Empire. Whoever came here on the Goldoba must be up to no good. I'm worried as to what fate they have in mind for Mira. It's obviously not a good one. The Empire is on good terms with this country. I think it unlikely Yay. they would resort to open force as they did back in Diadem. Yeah. Giacomo must be on that battleship. With a little luck... He is, actually. <laughs> Let's head back to the village. Why did we take the Shadow Magnus with us? Water, air, wood, and now stone. What do you 
mumbling, Shella. Let's go. Thank you, Callus. Oh yeah, sorry. And we don't have to go back through the dungeon, thankfully. Well, I'll end the part off here, because we've done quite a lot here, too, so next time we'll go talk to Calburn. See you guys then.